anywhere between 25 and 40 percent of patients in the hospital will get dosed insulin at some point during their hospital stay. And we want to make sure that, that the nurses have a tool to do it correctly. I'm Linda Benazi. I'm the president and CEO of Monarch Medical Technologies. We are a medical device company that makes a software algorithm for properly dosing insulin for inpatients in the hospital. And what EndoTool will do is kind of bring them into range and keep them there. And that's the goal. EndoTool was named EndoTool because it was a tool that helped endocrinologists decide what the right dose was for um, patients who receive insulin in the hospital. The software was developed by Dr. Pat Burgess from Carolina's healthcare system. Originally, it was funded by Dr. Burgess and his brother-in-law. So one of his endocrinologist friends asked him to help with a problem they were having with sternal infections with their cardiac patients. After it worked so well, the endocrinologist at Carolinas asked him to go broader with the product. He said, you know, it works so well and you can help so many people you should really develop it into a software that can be used in any part of the hospital. So the regulatory process for getting a medical device approved is arduous and expensive. Um, you generally have to prove that your device has a predicate device, meaning a comparable device that's already on the market if you want to use a 510K approval process. We have four FDA approvals now. It is constantly improved and upgraded and that's something that every software development company expects to happen.